see what the damage is. I love your name. Can you tell me your name? I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Spring. Another six. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. There's nothing to talk over. You can strip down and hand over your equipment, or you can die. Will you comply? Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. circumstances, your story wouldn't make any difference. You'd be dead already. Lucky for you. Probably. Elder McNamara wants to meet you. So follow me, closely, or you'll be killed.
I've been informed that you bring us ill tidings, stranger. Care to elaborate? That is sad news indeed. And I thank you for making your way here to convey it to us. But now the issue remains that an outsider knows our location. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR Ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the Ranger. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time. And that's how we like it. I'm in! Witnesses? Stand back on the door. The Elder's eager to hear your report. How did you resolve the situation with the Ranger? How do you know he won't be missed? That other rangers won't come looking for him. Or NCR patrols. Did you just make matters worse? Indeed he did. The caller includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. Had you told him the location of this bunker, for example? Well, let's just say we wouldn't be having this conversation. Given the circumstances, termination was the best option. So your actions demonstrated loyalty, good judgment, and prowess in combat. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them. But their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, 
Please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by, and many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations, and all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares, as if I didn't have other matters on my mind. If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. Bye. Yes, can I help you? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there all right. We started using them for target practice. Before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not gonna happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. That girl is nothing but trouble. Still, I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty, but I will if you don't help me find that gun. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Pleasure.
Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. Hey, hey, fellow. What? Introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's a data storage device, kind of like a hollow tape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently, the Securitron. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're right. And if you had, you know, a huge killer robot at your command, yeah, that would just clutter things up. And a lesser person might want that kind of overwhelming force on their side. But you know, where's the challenge in that? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Hmm, how shall I put this? Delivery of the platinum chip is non-negotiable. I invite you to think carefully about what you do next, standing alone before me. You needn't be afraid of me. It's my Securitrons that are going to kill you. is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Wow. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his databanks and view telemetry whenever... Wait. So... That's what the platinum chip does. Interesting. Welcome to the Silver Rush.
a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Do they? Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't so sure myself. Protecting people from technology seems like a big job for such a small group. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first though, I asked you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie, it's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. They're like an urban myth, no real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. Yeah, but only if you've got bodies to fill the suits. We don't take on new members. We're all descendants from the original Brotherhood. Something's gonna have to change, or the empty suits are gonna be all that's left of us. Wrong turn, happens all the time. Even the stupid NCR is investing in new research. We're getting left in the dust. You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Sure, but how long before the NCR or Caesar's Legion track us down and take it by force anyway? But, if we recruited knights from outside the group, maybe we could actually defend it. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Welcome to the Silver Room. Holy hell, there's a lot of energy weapons. Guess we dropped the ball on that one. Hey, you got a second? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. Excuses to get me out of my punishment, but I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I own for that. <sighs> Who means well? No, 
But it does make it easier to forgive him. He's just misguided. It's not too late to change his mind. He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail, or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets its attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Our elder before McNamara, he had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that proved my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here. I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the range finder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios 1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios 1 for a time, lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks the scavenger might have sold it on the strip. They defended Helios like it was their last stand. Didn't even know if there was anything worth defending. How could there be? It was all we lost. Even if it did work, it'd be under NCR control now. So it would either prove our goals are wrong, or we're incapable of pursuing them. There's a pawn shop in Outer Vegas we could check. And I've heard of a gift shop in the Strip that deals in pre-war antiques. I like the way you think. Reach for the sky, mister. Sorry, but I need to shoot Stacy. We can find you another gun. This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it. You mean it? Wow. Thanks. Wow. Good thing the safety was on.
Veronica. I hope... I brought you a present. We unlocked the secret of Helios One. What? Wonderful news! No, it's not. Archimedes II is an orbital laser, effective only outdoors in a limited radius and requiring a long recharge. In the hands of the enemy? They'd be marginally more effective. We lost most of the chapter defending glorified artillery. We couldn't have known. We fought for what we believed in. And nearly died for it. Tomorrow, you do it all over again, having learned nothing. Are you trying to shame me? I'm trying to open your eyes. We need to engage the outside world. We can't win without new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of close-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can until it comes to a slow or sudden end. They may be a bunch of wooden conformists, but anything I did without them would feel empty. I'd always be reminded of this day, how I wasn't strong enough to stand by them. So I guess I'll stay. Won't be easy but at least I won't feel guilty about the choice. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this, and some fresh air would do me some good, right about now. I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. What? No, that... that's brilliant. It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. The virus just jumped. you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? Just as I thought, McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid by ousting McNamara. I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders. 
and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Second part, what are you talking about? And that means I can cast McNamara down for giving those secret orders to my paladins. Well done. That's exactly what I was looking for. There are a number of people I'll need to talk to. The process won't be instantaneous, but with this evidence, my path is clear. It shouldn't take more than a few days, and then we can begin moving forward again. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter, and moving forward, we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Typically, we take in the young so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. The condition is that you must complete a task. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family. Make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, Report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons. Later. Execute them. Looks like that. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's gonna end badly. But they're all I have. I think so. Two things the Brotherhood has a lot of. Hardheads and lasers. Wouldn't be the first time a disagreement ended like this. Plus, we told all the witnesses. Good idea. <laughs> wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Well done. This is a small step in the right direction, but it's damn good to move forward again. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for your meritorious service in its name. Normally there'd be a ceremony and such, but everyone is too busy at the moment for such frivolity. I can give you this, however, your very own suit of power armor. We can't spare our best, but I had the knights assemble this one for your use. Which reminds me, you don't even know how to use these, do you? Here, I'll show you. It's easy once you get used to it. First, we'll start with putting it on. In addition to the armor, I've given the order that all of our arms and equipment be made available for your purchase. Finally, while you are now a member of the Brotherhood, I cannot ask any more of you. I'm sure you have goals of your own outside these walls. 
You are free to come and go as you please. Though I hope you'll return to us someday in a more permanent capacity. I wish you the best outside. Brother. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go.
your homeland burned one last time. Kill me, perhaps. Let's end this career. You and I. Here, with the old world flag as a witness. What's up? you love seeing the lucky 38 all lit up? Sign of things to come. Too bad about President Kimball and everything. But hey, stuff happens, right? Exciting news! The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent! Monster of the East ready to roll! Great. So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there's only one way for us to win this battle and make it stick. We have to render Hoover Dam inoperable. All you have to do is destroy the power generators. Without the generators, Hoover Dam's just a big bunch of concrete. Good luck! See you at the dam.
Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. And, uh, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook, or I'm not going anywhere. Right now, that's all that's standing there. Well, except for the corpses. So that's your plan? Hold the dam here all by your lonesome? The Brotherhood? On the attack? I think we would have heard something from them by now. First the Legion, then the Brotherhood hitting us is about the last thing the Republic needs right now. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? <sighs> Hell. Can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day. And I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. What the hell? No, get away from me, you goddamn TV on wheels. accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, the remaining Securitrons on the Strip were hard-pressed to keep order. Anarchy ruled the streets. When the fires died, New Vegas remained, assuming its position as an independent power in the Mojave. The Brotherhood used the Battle of Hoover Dam as an opportunity to retake Helios I, and came to control the area between it and Hidden Valley. With no organized opposition, their patrols began monitoring trade along I-15 and 95, seizing any items of technology they deemed inappropriate. Veronica put her moral sensibilities aside and supported the Brotherhood's new campaign of aggression as best she could. Yet, deep down, she understood that it meant their end would surely be soon to follow. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.